The last free painted tribe village was a mess. Although at least it wasn't a mess caused by Jiu this time around. He thought he could find shelter for his tribe here, but the relentless attacks by those tin men in rusty armor were just too much. His fellow cannibals were decimated in huge numbers, and only with expert skills of his fellow crossbowmen were they able to take down a couple of them. Yet so many more remained. His men lost limbs again, a failure of his own command, Gio believed. For no general would jeopardize his men in such a way that have to lose a limb to survive. Yet, they didn't complain. He saw it in their eyes. They have realized that Rotting Liver Tribe has become more than any other tribe of the plains. They could taste civilization. Yet still, they were on the edge of death. Hiding in these huts was not enough. They had to make it back to the plains and establish a proper outpost from where they could fight the southerners now encroaching on their homeland and spread the civilized word amongst the other tribes. And if word of mouth won't be enough, well, then they'll spread civilization by sword and bloody battle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi. Welcome back to Cannibal Crusade. And we're hiding. <laughs> We've been hiding here for a while, healing up, and I have finally saw the leader of this place. There he is. Uh, it's not Cannibal. Baron Samedi, which is a very uh, known name. He got ragged by uh, some of these dudes that are now... Well, they're still around. Also, the weapon he's wearing right now isn't his. Uh, Rolin actually is carrying his weapon. It's a May 2 Spite Stab that is 38 kilos. So we got ourselves a new Mei to blade, and she's carrying it due to the fact that, well, she doesn't have a leg, so she's gonna be, have to be carried. So she's have now become a backpack. Uh, she got some new rags as well. Uh, we found a bunch of hammers and such, like Mark III weapons in these chests. We found some new gear, like uh, who's got it? I think Teeth. Yeah, Teeth's got like new uh, masterwork pants. Untarnished Gusuku leg plates, looking really cool. I like it. I like it very much so. So we got we got some new stuff, and most of our boys can now walk on their own again. Uh, hello, friends. Nice of you to uh, open the doors. Rulin can't really walk on her own, but I think now is the time for us to escape. There's uh, there's no other way. <laughs> So let's new you pick Raleen up. Okay, 17 run speed is acceptable. Bug up is being carried by Moth, who's got 18 run speed. So yeah, Bug up. Oh, he's now he's no longer unconscious, but that's fine. He's slow anyway. Oh, I did give Wally a new weapon. We found a, a seafarer Kratos that has a very nice defense bonus. So I'm thinking he's gonna he's gonna use that. Looks pretty cool. Uh, you are carrying the. The dude still. <laughs> we got some of this ancient samurai armor that I do want to put on somebody later on, but I haven't really decided who yet. Uh, we of course have the great wood club still, so plenty of good weaponry and gear that we have found. A lot of it not something we can actually use, but hey. Okay, looks like Monker is the slowest right now, probably because he's carrying this as well. So if you give this to bug up, yeah, that should make him uh, faster. He doesn't need to uh, carry this extra stuff. There you go. Actually, you have a Katan 3 Desert Saber. Well, we can give you better ones. Is you are our tank as well. Mark 1 Hunting. This is Mark 3 Horse Chopper. Uh, we have another Mark 2 Horse Chopper. I thought we had a better hunting sword as well. We, we found this machete as well, Mark 2. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I guess not. So I'm gonna give you this, sure, Monker. You can have this butcher's uh, sword. It's gonna do more damage. It's gonna give you a bit more defense. Even though it doesn't look as cool as the other one, it's still gonna do just fine. Alright, so we'll all get out of here now. And we need to find a way to not get into a fight with his uh, Skelly Bros again. They're fighting on this side, it seems. So, how about we go that way? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a great idea. Let's all follow Flay, who is still carrying that uh, butcher dude. 
and that one we should bring to the United Cities. So I was thinking my goal would be go to the United Cities, maybe. Uh, cash that guy in. Maybe buy like an animal, a bull or something. So we can fit it in with a bunch of uh, supplies, like building materials and iron plates that we'll need once we go up north again, because I do want to go and establish an outpost. And we all know that back at the world's end, we can barely buy any supplies like that. So yeah, we're going to need something like this. Uh, no, he's falling behind a bit. Come on, new, no. Catch up, bro. So uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll do that, even though animals are not really something I kind of wanted to have in this playthrough. Well, that's a lot of dogs. Let's not run into dogs right now. So, yeah, but still, I think it would be useful to bring stuff from down south rather than having to wait for that one shop to replenish. We did successfully manage to get to level 6 research and build the level 6 bench. So now, basically, we can research whatever we want. Of course, ancient science books are still the main thing that we are missing. Uh, but at least we're doing more research, like hydroponics and such right now. Which is gonna be very useful, so we'll be able to grow more things in the future. Because I'm thinking... Uh, I also started uh, researching hashish. Maybe we'll get some hemp. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get some hemp and we're gonna establish like a hashish base in the United States or something like that. Just for fun. You know, just to sell hashish to people. That would be, that would be hilarious. While we were running out here, we actually found a group of Painted Tribe who is now already gone, but those men had a recruit for us among them. Welcome to the squad, Sir Liver. Sir Liver has joined us. He used to be a uh, part of the Holy Nation uh, until he realized that uh, livers can actually taste very nice. And we gave him a bunch of our ancient samurai stuff that we had and whatever else we had over here. So. He's looking pretty badass right now. He's got some good defenses. Of course, his offense is pretty broken because of all this, but hey. Sir Lever, welcome to the squad. It was nice actually seeing a team of cannibals out here. Really, really nice. Because uh, we don't really see that many lately. Uh, Gio, you too, man. Go follow me. Uh, but hey. We don't even need to be uh, in any cannibal territories. They were just running out here. Very nice. And so, uh, Sir Liver joining us. He wanted a Kanasai bow weapon. Of course, we can't really give him that yet. But for now, he can have that saber and uh, he can have fun with it. I, I hope he does. Uh, we came to visit the Fuma village. This guy's a bounty hunting. Are they trying to go for us? Okay, no. I was very, very, very afraid right there for a second. Oh, they're going for Sand Ninja that is out here. Okay. <laughs> uh, hello, Fuma Ninjas. How do you do? I just wanted to pop in and see if I can buy and or sell something over here that travels gear. Because we do have a bunch of crap on us. So if you guys want to buy... And when I say crap, we actually have good stuff, but we're not going to need it. Holy shit, they have a lot of money. Okay, we're going to be making some money over here. We might even buy some backpacks for people. Uh, maybe some sleeping bags, because that's something we're sorely missing. And, uh, Sir Liver needs that, needs this. And Raleen doesn't have a heal kit as well, so there you go. Okay, uh, I think I will sell these hammers. They are blunt, but I, I don't really like the way they look, so you can have them. And this wrench as well. That thing will keep, I'm pretty sure. Same with the gear. I think the gear we're gonna also keep. But uh, we can make some money over here. Uh, we'll buy a backpack and some sleeping bags. We got some rebel farmers out here that wanted to fight us. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. Let's see how our, uh, how our new Sir Liver is doing. Chopping people up. I like it. I like this armor. I do like the ancient samurai stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Smack them, boys. The gear that we have in our boys versus these dudes, oh, they, they don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. Was Gio in the melee there? Gio, were you doing some melee stuff? I mean, not that I complain, but... Hey, you know what? You do whatever you want to do. As long as we don't fight those nasty skeletons, we're quite fine out here. Quite fine. Uh, there's a huge fight going on over here. Oh, Blood Butcher Tribe. Yo, boys. Boys, boys, boys. Onwards. 
Uh, Rangers, you guys can uh, position yourself up on the hill. The rest go in there. Uh, you can... I'll uh, bug up. Can't really fight right now. Neither can really. We're not gonna put them down. It's fine. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. Attack all. Gio, I guess, has to get closer due to his shorter range. There he goes. Alright, boys. Blood Butcher Tribe, whoever else is here, smack him. Smack him. Destroy. Oh, yes. Today, there is only one cannibal team that's gonna win. And it's our team. We are gonna do it. Meat? Oh, yeah, meat. Indeed. I guess they had a camp over here. And I guess... Whose camp is this? This is Rebel Farmer's camp, not anybody else's. I like it. Look at Sir Liver being a badass already. I like it. Can I do is can I get a screenshot of this? Let's get a screenshot of this madman. Hell yeah, I like it. Anybody else trying to be a badass? You love to see it. I gotta rem <laughs> look at Car. He's he's doing some weird nasty poses. Oh, this guy's trying to take people away. Guys, 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 guys. You see him? There he goes. You got him. Uh, where's my rangers? Okay, Gio is up on the hill. Fighting somebody still. I mean... Let him fight. That's fine. Oh, no, you guys wanted to go for them, didn't you? Okay, well, rangers, let's see how well you do. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. We made it to the hive. This is now Northern Hive, apparently. Ah. Okay. Sir, are you carrying... You're carrying armor for a soldier hive. And you're not a soldier hive. Ah, uh, well... You guys are not gonna attack us, right? I mean, you have shops and shit. High weaponry and armor. Rangers and the hive bar I do not see oh there's a hiver shop uh, I wanted to see if they had prosthetics so we could buy stuff for uh, these guys well Gio let's go check what the hivers do have oh they have these lollipop weapons as well hello friends who may we speak to this is a shop isn't it that's a trader but we cannot talk to them are these guys the same as, uh, I don't know which tribe was it that they said that we need to... Oh, we can talk to this guy. We need to be hive. We need to be hive to talk to them. Uh, any goods? No, he's got nothing. I like the hive outfit. I mean, the outfit on this hive. I like it. The police helmets are cool. That's... Let's go into a bar. I would really like to see if I can buy some prosthetics from them. I know they have shitty prosthetics, but, you know. Gee, where the fuck are you going? Okay, so we can't talk to the barman. We can talk to the dealers. Why does there have to be dealers all around? Oh, there's a drifter hive that you can recruit. That's cool. Okay, that, I do like that. It's pretty nice. How about in here? Um, no, I don't want to steal stuff. Okay, so the, we just we just can't trade with them. Well, screw you, Hivers, then. We didn't want to trade with you anyway. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. We didn't want your prosthetics at all. We'll go and get some proper prosthetics, then. More rebel farmers to fight. You know what? We'll butcher your hyena, because we do need food. So, thank you for that, farmers. <laughs> Ooh, limbs as well. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the limbs as well. Where are you going, rangers? Where are you going? Ain't nobody else out there. Don't worry about it. Flay. Grab this. Grab that. Grab this. Let's, let's go. Might not have been the best person to carry these. Due to the fact that there's no, no, no space here. But okay. Uh, some meat as well. Nom, 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 nom. Good stuff. Okay, well. Now we can eat. 
and onwards we go. Just tiny encounters out here. Nothing can stand against us. We're gonna be at Shobatai soon. Who's out there? Manhunters? I'm fine fighting those as well. We're gonna be at Shobatai soon. Uh, Shobatai is not really gonna have anything for us, is it, though? Yeah, that's true. If you want prosthetic limbs, we need to go deeper into the desert. And Animal Traders is a stoat. I'm pretty sure it's not a Chobatai. Oh well, well, we'll find whatever we find. If nothing else, over here at Chobatai, we can go cash in the uh, the butcher dude that we're carrying. Oh, uh, sure. Go ahead, search us. We don't have nothing that would be on towards, trust me. Uh, Fillet, go bring this dude out here. Let's go. That's the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, do we have anything on him, Meat Lord? Uh, nothing that we'd really want. So, yeah, that's fine. Go bring him to justice. I don't think there's anything else we want over here. We might pop into travel gear, see if there's something good. I'm not allied with the Shinobi Thieves. We could ally, of course, we have the money for it, but I'm not sure if I want to. Because I, I don't think us as cannibals should have any other allies, really, than cannibals. Oh, wait, this is a trader now. Farm shop, what? Okay, this was always the police. Now it's a farm shop. It's a slave shop, general shop, bar. Where's your police now? Excuse me. Oh, well. <laughs> we were right next to it. I wasn't paying attention. A ranger shop, we might buy something, uh, something, something. Uh, sure, let's go to animal shop. Because I did say I want to buy an animal, right? So we can actually carry out stuff. Might as well do it here. Might as well do it here. No, Flay, you're not supposed to go in there. You're supposed to go here. Let's cash this man in. Hello, friends. You can have it. Take him. 60k? You'll love to see it. I thought it was 40. But I guess it's 60. Ka-ching. Okay, well, that's another non-painted tribe gone. He's a big boy. He's a big, beefy boy. I think he's actually... Yup. <laughs> he doesn't fit in here. He's so big. You'll love to see it. Well, he's gonna be in prison forever. What else do you want? Yes, let's go, boys. Alright, uh, tell me what kind of animals do they have? I mean, I see they have the agar over here. Let's see, show me your animals. So they have a Garo female. Oh, a male Garo and a bone dog. Before we buy an animal, I want to see if they have... No, wrong button. If they have a backpack for Garo. Okay, they do. They do. I mean, do we buy two? That's a question. Do we buy two? Or do we just go with one? Um, you know what? Like, these guys are just together, right? Two Garu? Two Garu? Male and female? Maybe we'll get some pups eventually. Let's go for it. Boom, baby! We got ourselves some Steves. Double Steves? Let's freaking go. Now, these guys will be able to carry everything we want. Garu backpack. Got a backpack, and let's get out of here, Steve's. What's your run speed? 24! 27, you love to see it. These backpacks, I believe, give them speed bonus. Yeah, athletics effect goes up. Hey, perfection. We got ourselves double Steve's. Who's male and who's female? Okay, so the first Steve is female, the second one is male. How do I know this? Because male was teen, and female was pup. So, there you go! Okay, um... They have a general shop over here. I think we start stacking up on all building materials that we can find. I think they should have... Uh, there's a mechanical shop. We'll go in there as well. So we'll just pick up everything we can out here. So we can bring as much as possible up there. You know, so we can jumpstart our... Uh, our home. Our new home as soon as possible. Why is there only five iron plates? I mean, that's fine. Uh, we'll need some copper as well, for starting. I mean, we will be able to mine it eventually, but, you know. Uh, is there gonna be wheat straw growing up there? 
I actually don't know. I really don't know if you can grow wheat straw or not. We have barley, oat straw, tobacco, agave. We have all the farming. All this farming. Oh, lanterns. I wanted these. Um, let's see. Knew, knew you have them. Let's get one for you as well. Don't give me out of trading range. Fine. Steve, you grab one. Grab, you know what? We'll just grab a couple. Because we're going to need them eventually for our rangers as well. I mean, we could buy these. I could also buy electrical components, but uh, we'll be able to craft these ourselves eventually. As long as we have copper, we can build the, uh, what's it called, the, the big wind genius, and that should be fine. You know what? Fuck it. Let's buy that. All the straws. Barley straw, wheat straw, oat straw. I'm guessing we'll need 10 for each to grow. Uh, narcotics we're not gonna go for yet. I'm gonna grab cotton as well. Yeah, let's go. Steve's and Mial, let's go to the other shop as well. We'll see what we can find. In the meantime, Giyu, you run in here. And let's see uh, if these guys got something for us, like more cool backpacks. I wouldn't mind that. Oh, they do have the adventure ones. I like this. Uh, let's put the adventure one on Sir Liver. Sir Liver. Let's go. Yes. I mean, it's not the, the easiest one to carry, but it looks cool. It's two kilos. It's not that heavy. What are you talking about? Uh, we have the improvised one. Stealth and dodge, and that one isn't good. Of course, we have the refitted oil drum. So there's that one as well. And we can put... This stuff on Steve's now. Steve's can carry this stuff. I gotta remember. And let's buy some food as well. And some more meds. Campsite? Uh, you know what? Might as well. Why not? Good. Uh, Y'all. Go buy some more supplies. You're gonna need them. Now our Steve's are probably gonna get stuck everywhere. As they run. That's the tradition of Steve's. Let's put some stuff on you as well. 46 billion materials. I like it. I don't even need that many books. We can we can do our own books now. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, if I remember correctly, we need three copper for each of those things. We'll buy... Let's go like this. I mean, we can make our own copper. I'll sure we'll be, make, we'll be able to make our own, but that's fine. Alright. Good. I think for now we're good. We got the supplies we wanted. Hopefully there's going to be wind up there. If there's going to be no wind, well, it's going to be slightly problematic, but... Oh, well. Alright. Onwards to glory. Flay, you need to go with us. Following new. And while we're out here... Uh, in the dunes, it should still be fine. Steve shouldn't get stuck too much. But eventually they'll start getting stuck everywhere. Now, next thing we need is to go to the capital and get some prosthetics. Who's this? Slave traders? Okay. Getting slaves for shipping. You enjoy yourselves. We could go to the Black Desert City as well. But let's not do that right now. I just want to go get prosthetics for these guys. I mean, we could go to World's End. But they so far had really shitty prosthetics. So I'm fine not going there. Right. Rebel Farmers again. Well done. Let's go, boys. Smack them all. Destroy... Destroy. Oh, these guys have a bunch of rangers. I don't think that's allowed. Only we are allowed to have rangers. Go, Steves. Smack them. Hey, hey, be careful, man. These guys are martial artists. Oh, Car's got his uh, dope weapon out there. Go get him, Car. Oh, they're in pretty solid damage, actually. Nice. Steves? Oh, took, took a beating right away. You know what, Steve? That's just the way it is. You have to get beat up so you get stronger later. There's manhunters out there. Uh, none of that, please. Don't really want to fight you right now. There is somebody fighting. Oh no, it's just nomads running around. Okay. Well, that's... That's good. Uh, we have heft right there, and that's our... That's the place we're going for to get those limbs. Here lies our salvation. Please have some good limbs for us. Okay, you guys chill. Don't run in here. Welcome back, he says. Dude, we just found this place. What's wrong with you? 
Are you fucking kidding me? Two limbs? Not even a right fucking leg? Are you kidding me, man? Jesus. Fucking skeletons. Do we really have to go all the way to the Black Desert City to even find a fucking limb? Oh, this is obnoxious. You know what? Yes, we're going there. We're not even buying that thing. I've got enough. We're gonna go to Black Desert City. We're gonna steal us some fucking limbs. That's bullshit, man. That's just absolute bullshit. Well, now we have to sidetrack all the way down here. The Deadlands. Not exactly what we wanted to do. But you know what? Fuck it. We'll do it. We might travel the whole world. Just to get those limbs. But you know what? We're gonna steal enough limbs to have enough limbs for ages. Because that place is good for theory. So we'll do that. Some kind of animal got to him, it seems. There's bite marks all over the body and his left arm is missing. Poor soul. These bites, they were not made by any animal I know of in these parts, I am afraid. The only animal that leaves bite marks like these and also steals the victim's weapon is unfortunately human. Are you implying this was done by a cannibal? This far to the south? That can't be, Hiro. There isn't any reports of cannibals in the Great Desert in ages. I am not saying this cannibal came from their plains, although the tracks are coming from the north and leaving back to the north, but they usually travel in big hordes. This was done by a solitary man. This is a disturbing discovery, Hiro. We should alert my father immediately. He needs to send out a hunting party, find this cannibal, and end their madness. Patience, young Ryoshi. We have no real proof yet. For now, I think it best we continue our investigation alone. Besides, we need not fear a single cannibal. I am sure your training was sufficient to face them in battle. Easy for you to say. You're not the one that's edible here, Hira. Look at that, there is a hive down here. All the way down in the Great Desert. I, I like it. As you see, we've done a lot of walking from here to down here. Sprinting, most likely. And these guys have a bunch of shops. They have robotics, all that stuff. They are mechanical hive. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if these guys want to talk to us this time around. Geo, let's run up here. Let's go into their hut, even though this hut has some issues to enter. But I'm sure you can go in from the other side. Hey, uh, Hivers. Oh, dude, I love this armor. I love these ar these armors. They're awesome. Alright, Geo, pop in here. Hello, friends. How do you do? Oh, he wants to talk to us. Non-human, indeed. Show me your goods. They actually have hiver legs that we could buy. I mean, now we have decided to go to Black Desert City anyway, but it is good to know that these guys are here. It is it is good to know. Uh, if you guys uh, have seen my Holy Nation playthrough, which is like over a year ago now, what do you have? Hiver Shop and Animals. Nice, let's go check this out. So in that playthrough, since I was playing as the Holy Nation, I added the mod where uh, Holy Nation would accept me if I had prosthetics on, right? Because Otherwise, it would be kind of hard to play because people did lose limbs, of course, because we were all humans and squishy like that. Uh, exotic animals, none. Well, great. <laughs> oh, what guy, who, who are you? Who are you, sir? Cyber beep! Oh, that's so awesome! Look at that, there's cyber beep! Oh, I had no idea. Well, I, we need to go here now in our uh, in my uh, playthrough where we're playing as uh, the slavers. 100% need to go in here and get Cyber Reap. I love it. 
So yeah, uh, the Holy Nation thing I was talking about, right? I did add a mod that allowed me to still be allied with the Holy Nation while we had prosthetics. But the way I did it is that the only prosthetics we could use were the ones we made ourselves. So of course, early on when we lost limbs and we had no real good crafters, we all had the crappy, like, Hiver-like limbs. And it was awesome, you know, because we... It wasn't like this when I was excited to lose limbs because then we knew that we can get better, right? It was that, oh shit, now we have to make our own, try to learn it out. And of course, later on as you play through, it gets easier because, you know, your guys get better at crafting limbs and all that stuff, and you can make some really good stuff. But early on, definitely tougher, and uh, I really like that idea. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it again one day. Funny part about the Black Desert City, now that uh, it has the Universal Wasteland expansion plastered all over it, uh, we were here uh, on my in my Twitch playthrough a couple of days ago, and I had people sleeping in their bar, <laughs> and uh, those dudes just came and picked our people out of the freaking beds, put them in prison. That was fun. I mean, they, they did release us, but uh, what do you want? What I, I seriously, what the fuck do you want? Okay, who's gonna talk to him? Beef. Have stuff in your inventory come on talk to me can you please fucking talk to him he's talking to Remy okay just an adventure don't want no trouble we have supplies he's now talking to Gio we have kits yes we are a doctor everything is fine pieces of shit I hate the fact that these guys will just talk to you and if you don't say the right things like if you don't have med kits in your inventory and you say you have med kits even though you have them in your backpack they'll attack you and call you a liar it's it's sometimes it's pretty bullshit but you know what screw you now let's get some fucking limbs uh trade with our steves we have to be careful not to get caught over here of course as is tradition but still, uh, I want, let's see, um, Wally, you pick up one Steve, Gu, you pick up the other Steve, and we want you guys up with me, we're going in, ladies and gentlemen, we're going in, we're gonna steal some shit, come up here, no, you guys don't, don't all of you follow, okay? Just said these guys should come up here. Stop following and being like that. Yeah, it's, it's time. So come in here. We'll do the classic switcheroo. Flay is good stealthy lady. She's a good thievery lady. Go stealth. Up here, nobody's gonna see you. And here we got some good shit. Bugup needs a right arm, and Valine needs a right leg. All right, Foy, let's start with that. We got some specialist right legs. You know what? If she's got a gutter leg, ain't nobody gonna catch her anymore. You only have a 95% chance. Flay, I thought you were a better thief. With 50 theory, only 95, you say? Hmm. Uh, let's let's unlock this one. Maybe this guy's gonna move away or. This guy. Otherwise, we can do a bit more thievery stuff over here. 96 in this. Ooh, that's a berserker. I like it. And there's a leviathan as well. We're gonna take all of these. I just want to have a 100% chance. So, Flay, let's, uh, let's do some training. You know, the usual drop on the ground, pick back up. Alright, we can do it now. Gutter right is gonna be for Raleen. She can escape with that. And let's get find a nice right arm for Bug Up. He needs strength. Only has industrial lifters over here. No, no, not you, Bug Up. Not you. Fly. Power arm mark two. What is uh what is his left arm? He's got a thief. Okay, we definitely need a better left for him. Uh Flay, not not again you. Flay, what do we have in here? 
Berserker and Power R Mark 1. Let's take this one for now. Let's give him a good left as well, not Marksman's. Uh, Industrial Lifter, I guess, will do. Industrial Lifter Masterwork. Sure. Let's grab this one as well. I mean, Gu, which Gu's leg? He's got a KLR. That's fine. Wally's arm is skeleton right. He could use some more... I mean, Dex is fine on him, but we can get him a better one. Okay, once she stopped committing crime, we're gonna give these limbs to the other boys. Now, let's give this to our boy Bugup. Let's give this to Raleen, and they can finally get back to living the normal life. Put Raleen down. There she be. There she be. She can run only 23 run uh, speed right now, but that's because she is still pretty over encumbered. You will give these to Steve's. Give that, 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 and that to Steve. And now you should be 36 miles per hour. You'll love to see it. She's a uh, speedy Gonzalez. Proper. And bug up? What's gonna be your strength when you go with us, my friend? I wanna see how strengthy you're gonna be. 73. Okay. Now bug up could actually potentially use one of those nasty big uh, new weapons we have. Uh, let's see, this one is... So you need 80 for this one. Bugger, how's your blunt? 50? Dude. Bugger, I think... Uh, I think you get that. <laughs> I think it's only proper. Let's go. Alright, bug up. Now that's a big sword that you always wanted. And when I say sword, I mean it's a big old club. Also, sir, hello. How do you do? You're you're also big, yes, I admit. But hey, he's got himself a big, big old club. He's gonna be able to wield us with some power. Don't quite have uh, maybe the strength for it, but hey, that's okay. He's gonna do beautifully. A weapon for hitting, which is Meat Lord made independently. Which the Meat Lord made independently. I mean, it's a great wooden club. It's just a big old club out of wood. Nothing too special about it, right? Now, our goal is to fill the steves. Fill them up with all the goods that we can get out of here. With our new limbs in tow, we can finally leave this place and start going where we wanted to go. Back up north to build our own base. I think it's only appropriate, it's only about time. Bug up with his big stick is leading us. And the rest of the boys are following. Uh, we're gonna pop out, out here in Skinner's Rome and then we're gonna follow this up here all the way to World's End and then across into the Cannonball Villages. Uh, Cannonball Plains, I mean. It's gonna be a long trek again. We've done a lot of walking today. We came from all the way up here, down here, now down here, and now the plan is to get back up there. Lots of walk in this episode. Oh no. Where are those worrying boys? I hope they're going for the skeletons that should be out there, not us. Hope so. Don't really want to deal with them. But yeah, we have a long ass way to go still. I mean, we just have good good limbs now. I'm happy. We got a bunch of extra over here. Flay is carrying a bunch of extra. Steve's are full of limbs and such so and of course we have the building materials and we have the iron plates to start up the production i did forget to buy more straw shit uh we could hopefully get some more up at world's end i just need to remember and we should be passing some holy farms and if i don't run in there with anybody with like robotic limbs should be able to buy some stuff out there as well. I think we don't have that much food, so... What we're gonna do right now... Is we're gonna attack all these Star Bandits. And we should be able to smack them in a capacity that's gonna give us some limbs. I wanna see Bug Up do this. 112 damage? Nice. Smack him, Bug Up. He's even fast enough to block some stuff. Nice. 
is he just using one arm to do this? Oh, okay, we have, uh, we have some more friends incoming. But I see limbs, and that's what we wanted. Go get the spiders as well, boys. Uh, all of you boys, all of you, come on. Bug up, I want to see that, uh, that smacky thing. Smack it. Okay, Flay went down, that's fine. She's gonna be fine. AA went down. And these guys are gonna go down. We can eat them as well. No worries there. Double food? Hell yeah, now we talking. Mial went down, he's gonna be fine. These guys are all gonna get back up, no worries there. You guys want to destroy... Oh, Steve! Come on! Steves! Could somebody else fight these monstrosities instead of fucking Steve? They're still pups. Why are you just looking at it? Fucking attack it! Jesus, look what Khan just did. Fix Steves. Fix fucking Steves, right now. That one's... One of them was dying. This Steve is dying. Jesus Christ, people. That was, uh... Obnoxious. Are you gonna just stand there and look at stuff? Not allowed. G.U. Do shit. Oh, there's the Holy Nation. Okay. It's fine. Why are you just standing still? Do something about it. Don't just stand still, you silly bitties. Kill yourself as well. Well, there's even more starving bandits out here. That's even more limbs for everybody. Get them, boys. Stack them all. Stack them all, come on. Get in there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many. And they don't even realize we're fighting them. It feels like the game's lagging. Maybe because there's so many. Oh, the Holy Nation is coming in there to fight as well. AA is down. Don't fight the Holy Nation, though, okay? You guys. Just uh, be careful on that one. All we are here for are limbs. We don't mind for the rest of the stuff. Oh, look at Bug Up hitting there for a couple of hundreds. You'll love to see it. Giu, are you going into the fray? Melly, good, good idea, Giu. That's exactly what we have you here for. What's What happened to AA? AA? It's gonna be fine. Steve's are both in recovery coma. That's slightly unfortunate. Okay, Geo is in the melee and he actually defeated them in the melee. Would you mind? He's got ammo. Switch to range, dude. Switch to range. Still don't fight the Holy Nation. They are the good guys over here. We are the bad guys. I mean, kinda. No. Get back here. S you know, enough is enough. I see there's a huge group out there again. But enough is enough. No, not needed. Stay out here with these ones. Okay, we got plenty of arms now. That's all we need. Jesus, these people. Sometimes they just wanna do too much. Steve's? Yeah, gonna be... Oh, this Steve is gonna be fine already. This Steve's gonna be fine. New? Put him down. Yeah, that's Steve's fine. Oh, he's gonna be unconscious for a while still, but okay, he's gonna be fine otherwise. Now give me all of those limbs. Oh, shit. They probably noticed that we have some nasty limbs. Skeletons, yeah, they have noticed it. Um, shit, sorry, Holy Nation, we didn't really want to fight you right now, but uh, you kind of wanted to fight us. What, is there more? Okay, that's Shaq. That's fine. Shaq are fine. And those Holy Nation boys, there just wasn't that many of them. Alright, Khan. Go pick up some of these limbs. Let him be, boys. He needs to pick up all the limbs, man. There's one more, bro. There's one more. Let's stack these. Look at that. It stacks up to four. It's nice nutrition right there. Love it. Okay. Are we ready to go onwards? Steve, are you coming with us? It's not quite yet. Oh, another leg. Let's see if these guys are ready to sell us anything in the middle of the night. We need to send somebody who doesn't have robotic limbs, maybe. And somebody that does actually have some inventory space. Teeth. Run over there. 
You guys stay here. Bug up. Where the fuck are you going, man? Okay. You guys just go here. Do whatever you want to do. It does look like it's open. Oh, that's barracks. Residential? Residential? Uh, do you guys not sell stuff over here at the farm anymore? Because I'm guessing going into the barracks is... They're gonna tell me to get out, right? Uh, okay, let's pop into residential. Game. Game, could you please try not to just load all the time? Hey, I'm not a heinous beast, okay? I'm just misunderstood. Anybody we can talk to? I'm guessing we won't be able to achieve much over here. Fine. We'll go back to World's End then. Unless it's general storage. Let's go check the general storage as well. Teeth, get out here, bro. Let's go out there. Try to see if you can open the door. Do you guys have anybody in? Out of bounds. Okay, never mind. Fine. Nothing then. You holy nation dicks? Or dicks as usual? It seems. Alright. Uh, everybody, follow Bug Up. We're going onwards to glory. We're going to World's End. And that's where our adventures are gonna end for today. I mean, it is World's End after all. They traveled the world today. They have seen many places. Civilized? Not quite yet, but for today, their path ends at World's End. What a fitting name. Tomorrow, they will go onwards to spread the civilization amongst the cannibal plains and the cannibal tribes living there. Will they succeed? Well, only time will tell, but they certainly have the heart to try to do so. And as they said, if not with a word of mouth, then with sword and bloody battle.